Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in part two of our discussion of 360 video. In part one, we just saw the basics of working with the 360 media and we added it to our timeline and we selected whether we saw it in 360 view or sort of a Mercator projection view here where it's all flattened out. In any event, when we select produce, from a 360 video, the only options that will appear are 360 options. Now, the 360 option is under AVC, it's an MP4, but it comes with characteristics so that when you output that MP4, if somebody's watching it on a 360 enabled viewer and you have to actually download you can't just watch it on vlc media player or windows media player you actually you actually have to download a free 360 viewer you'll have the option to be able to scroll around control what you look at in the viewer you notice that you also have the option here to go online and there are two websites two major social media sites that will show 360 video facebook will show a 360 video but you can only manipulate it by dragging your mouse around YouTube, on the other hand, gives you the option of either controlling what you see by dragging your mouse across the screen, or you can switch it into the cardboard mode or the viewer mode, and you'll see that stereoscopic view. You load it into your phone, you put your phone in, in a set of VR goggles, and you'll be able to control what you look at for any YouTube video simply by moving your head around in a much more intuitive way. Now that said, that's how you output a 360 video from a 360 project. Let's go back here. You don't necessarily have to use 360 video to produce a 360 video. You also have the option of taking 360 video from a 360 camera and using it in a standard two dimensional or standard 16 by nine project. To do that, I'm going to go up and change the project aspect ratio from 360 to a standard 16 by 9. Once again, we see our uh, video is kind of projected there, so we're seeing all 360 degrees completely surrounding us flattened out in our monitor. And if I select the clip on the timeline, and this doesn't seem to work with every clip, but uh, clips that are true 360 VR, the standard format, if I select the clip and go to the designer, I can select view designer. And here in the view designer, I can decide what the two dimensional view will be. So if I want the viewer to see this view, looking out here at these palm trees, you can see that as the viewer watches the video, it remains in the same position. You won't have the ability to control the various points of view. The only option will be to look at the point of view that you've designated here in the view designer. Now this view designer, you can actually create keyframes to change the view. So you don't have to lock in a single view. If for instance, we'll bring the playhead back to the beginning and I want to start out with this view, I can turn on keyframing for this direction of view by clicking on the little diamond right here in direction of view. See, it creates a keyframe here on my timeline. I can move the playhead out and if I want that point of view to change, I simply drag across here and you see a new keyframe has been created. Between these two now, the program should create a nice pan or a nice animation in the point of view. There it goes from that view over to that view. Very, very nice. So we're controlling what the viewer sees. We're kind of editing a 360 video down to the basic 16 by nine area that we want our viewer to see. Once you've done that, it's like editing any other 2D video. And then when you choose the produce options here under the produce tab, because we're working in 16 by nine, we'll have all of the produce options that we would have for any standard two dimensional or three dimensional 16 by nine project. So those are your two options. You can either work with 360 video in a 360 workflow all the way through and output a real nice 360 video, upload it to Facebook or YouTube, and then your viewer has the option of selecting what he or she looks at, or you can use your 360 video in a standard 16 by nine project and output it any way you want or output it to look like a standard video where you control what the viewer sees. Now, if you want to know more about this wonderful program, be sure and check out our tips and tutorials at moviepicks.com. If you want to know how every tool here in the program works, 
be sure to check out our books, the moviepicks.com guides to Cyberlink Power Director. They're available at amazon.com and of course, right here at moviepicks.com. I'm Steve Brizetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.